Today, I'm going to teach you one of the number one mistakes I see people make when it comes to elegant dressing. And it's really even more than you think the reason is. Gonna be a good day, good day, great day with Micah Mai. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So one of the things that I see all the time I, you know, I addressed in my last video on how to dress elegantly, logos. So, why don't I wear a lot of them? Um, what is wrong with them? And today I'm going to tell you why dressing in too many logos or too large of logos really isn't considered elegant dressing. So when I see someone socially or, you know, professionally or just walking by on the street or they come to see me at my job and they have logos all over, maybe it's huge, you know, logo earrings or logo hat or a logo here plus here plus on the shoe plus that's called over logoing tiny little logo here or there might be on the clasp of a handbag or a briefcase or a small logo on a shoe is one thing the reason why logos are put on merchandise is to say it is from this brand well here's the thing about that when you are putting a huge logo of a very expensive or what you deem to be expensive brand um, you are saying i paid a lot of money for this that's not exactly um, what you want to be shouting. You want to look elegant, you want to look sophisticated, but by saying, I spent money on this, look at me, look at this brand, you can even Google how much this shirt costs, really doesn't come off elegant. It really doesn't come off sophisticated. It comes off as you need to show everybody else. It's almost like I, I see the word insecurity flash up because it's almost like I don't have the confidence through my words and through my actions and through how I present myself and my poise to come across the way that I want so that I need to buy a brand that has that image for me and I need to put it across my chest or my earrings or wherever, my necklace um, and everywhere to tell you what to think about me. Now, somebody who is confident, who is assertive, who is sophisticated, who is elegant, um, you know, who, who knows who they are, they don't need another brand to tell everybody else what to think about them. Now, by wearing a brand, you automatically stereotype yourself. It's like a stamp on whatever you're wearing, which then goes on you. And you are your own walking, breathing, living brand. Now, let's talk about, you know, a little logo here or there. So this bag that I have is a vintage bag. It's from my birth year, so it's extra special to me. And it's, it's vintage, so, and it's got the little Chanel logo where you clip the handbag. And remember, it's a handbag, not a purse. A purse is for change. Handbag is what we carry around. So at the end of the day, you know, I will wear that bag, but not every day. Um, and when I'm not wearing any other logos, sometimes I see a lot. And right now I see everywhere, um, you know, the big Gucci logo, the, the belts. And of course I notice it. It's the first thing anyone notices because you're branding yourself. Um, that way up to you if that's what you want to do But I think it's very you be very careful that if you're wearing already one big logo on your belt You then don't have a Gucci shirt and a Gucci hat and a Gucci whatever it is um, So if you choose to wear logos, then no other logos anywhere else I'm not saying it's bad to ever have a logo. You know, I have another shirt that has a little Ralph Lauren polo on it that I can think of. Um, but otherwise, I don't have too many other examples of logo things. I will try my hardest not to buy a brand that has a logo or buy a brand where I can just hide the logo. That's what I always opt for. I don't need to wear a brand to tell people what to think about me or that I have lots of money or I don't have money or I have new money or I have old money. Um, whatever it is, talking about money, showing off, being flashy is never a nice thing because it's, it's showing other people what you have and maybe they don't have it. And that's also, you know, that's also can come across as hard, especially right now. And 
this year, especially 2020 and beyond, um, you know, it's, it's hard. It's a financially hard year. So to be flashing your wealth comes across as ostentatious, as showy, as flashy. And that's not a sophisticated kind of elegant thing to do to other people. Think about the royal family. Let's talk about really any royal family that I can think of. You know, the only logos I have really, um, can, can really think of them wearing, you know, I saw, you know, the Queen and also the Duchess of Cambridge have a tiny little Chanel um, logo on a handbag, you know, a watch. Sometimes I've seen a logo there. Little things, tiny little logos, but day to day, the Duchess of Cambridge is not wearing a dress that has a huge logo or, you know, logos dotted all over the place because she doesn't need to tell people how much she spent on that dress. She, everybody knows she's elegant and sophisticated and classy because of just the way that she is and not because she needed to spend so much money on a garment that then she needed to tell everybody how much money she spent. Now, a lot of my, you know, sometimes I, I've had an incredible privilege to work in some of the most amazing homes and palaces and you name it. Um, I might have been there in these homes where these people have endless wealth, endless wealth. These people don't wear logo or big logoed items. They're really, really showing you through the materials, through the way that they wear it, the tailoring. They're showing you the beautiful fabrics, the way that it was built for their body, tailored to their body, that it fits them beautifully. That is an elegant piece. That is gorgeous attire. That to me says, wow, way over the logo, you know, flashing all over someone else's body. The other thing, if you do buy a branded anything, just stay away from fakes. Um, stay away from fakes. It's, it's really not fair to the brand. It's not good etiquette. Um, it's also could be really embarrassing. I had a client who um, had a Rolex a beautiful Rolex, I love Rolex, um, but she had a Rolex on and she went to a jewelry store. The man said, oh, can I see your watch? The watch was a fake and he told her and it was a gift. So she was mortified. People, people know these brands, people can detect them from a mile away. People who love these brands wear these brands. If you're at a party and you have your fake something on and the person next to you is a collector of that, you know, Birkin bag and your Birkin bag is a fake, people can spot it. Even a really, really good fake, just be careful of that. At the end of the day, uh, you know, just make sure that when you're, you know, if you do have a logo on, it's not about, look at me, I spent so much money on this. It's, that's not good etiquette. You'll never see me in huge logos. You'll never see me, um, you know, wearing triple logos everywhere, massive logos across my chest. And that's the reason why. A funny story, I remember going on a date with a guy in New York. He met me at a restaurant. We had been set up, so I'd only seen pictures of him. When I saw him, I, he was already there and I walked in. He was wearing hat and doors, which is, unless it's a part of your outfit, like a turban or something that's part of your outfit, you would take a hat, which he had a baseball cap off when you enter, and it had a huge logo across it. Um, it said Ferrari on there. <laughs> then he had a Ferrari um, shirt on. He did, uh, during that day, also managed to take out his keys and put them on the table when we were leaving to show me he had his Ferrari key. The money didn't impress me, doesn't impress me. You can't buy class. You might have heard that many times, age old quote, you cannot buy class through money. And by him showing me Ferrari, 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 it actually did the opposite of what he was trying to do. He was trying to attract me with his physical possessions and show me how much he must have been worth when it really did the opposite. And I, it was so cringe, it's just cringe. I would have found out eventually if that was so prideful to him, if he was a racer or something like that, that that was his passion was racing Ferraris or whatever it might have been. But I didn't need him to spell the brand out all over him because then that's all I saw and not him. And it kind of ruined the date from even before he opened his mouth.
So takeaways are don't let a brand define you. If you have a logo, it's absolutely fine. I'm not saying no logos. I'm just saying small logos, tiny logos. And if you logo, don't double letter, logo, 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 logo. Don't need to do that. Just be tactful about what you're wearing, how you wear it, how you style it. And remember, elegant dressing is about, you know, the materials, the fit, the look, the style, how you've styled something and not what you spent, how much you spent on it. So take this and go out and make your next purchases wise and smart. Um, and you can still have fun with your dressing, but it doesn't need to be flash. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, um, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I can't wait to see you next time.